The Prime Minister greeted by Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky at the Marinsky Palace in Kiev. A meeting to assure Ukraine of the UK's intent to defend the rule of law in the country. Ahead of his arrival, Johnson posted on Twitter, As a friend and a democratic partner, the UK will continue to uphold Ukraine's sovereignty in the face of those who seek to destroy it. Following a statement by Zelensky, Johnson spoke of the hostility facing Ukraine in the form of Russia troops amassing at its borders. It goes without saying that a further Russian invasion of Ukraine would be a political disaster, a humanitarian disaster. In my view, it would also be, for Russia, for the world, a military disaster as well. The government announced on Tuesday it would send £88 million in aid to Ukraine to support a stable government and energy independence away from Russia. The UK and other countries will be judged by the people of Ukraine and the world on how we respond and how we help. Meanwhile, Russian President Vladimir Putin said the US and its allies have ignored Russia's top security demands as he hosted Prime Minister Viktor Orban in the Kremlin. There are his first comments on the standoff with the West over Ukraine in more than a month. Putin said he hoped dialogue on Ukraine would continue in order to avoid negative scenarios, including war. Britain is working to de-escalate the crisis. On a separate visit earlier on Tuesday, Defence Secretary Ben Wallace met with his counterpart at the Croatian capital Zagreb. Speaking of the security situation in Eastern Europe, we agree that it is of great concern, and we hope it will not escalate. Henceforth, a diplomatic solution is necessary at this moment. Wallace said NATO, the European Union and Britain all hold that Ukraine's sovereign territory must be respected. He said Britain will defend the country's right to self-determination. In the United Kingdom stand shoulder to shoulder in defending the right of sovereign countries to choose their destiny. What they choose is almost secondary to that sacred right to choose as a sovereign state how it wishes to secure its security and indeed what choices it makes to join whether NATO or not. Eddie Aitken, NTD News.